It's your boy Indian Gunner in the house back with another video wherein I tell you about latest Arsenal news, transfer news and rumours. So let's go on with the video but first if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel there are 43 subscribers now thank you so much uh, for the people who have subscribed to my channel love you guys and if you haven't those who haven't actually uh, can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon I post daily Gunner stuff my target to reach 50 subscribers by the end of this month if I reach it early obviously the hunger will go go on and on and on but first let us reach let us make this army let us make this channel a 50 subscriber based channel can we do that if we can do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post another video okay so let's go towards the video once it for all AC Milan fans shut the hell up and listen to me carefully Lucas Torreira well, has not pressed an exit button from Arsenal okay he has just suggested that what are his problems what are his challenges what are his daily challenges same thing was faced by Santi Cazorla Nacho Monreal David Ospina when they are you know they had <clears throat> Santi Cazorla had for two to three years he had a translator what does that mean I mean obviously life is quite difficult in a new country that doesn't mean that he's gonna go back to Syria especially to your um, team come on if he wants to play Europa he can do that with Arsenal why does he why should he go back to Syria or to your team and fail uh, miserably huh. I don't understand sad news for the fans of Arsenal who thought that Ryan Frazier would actually be signed actually uh, Ryan Frazier says that nobody has contacted him nobody has spoken to him and at least for one more year he will be an AFC Burnmouth player Guys, if you can, do sign. Do sign him. I really, really believe that he can be really uh, a potential entry into the <clears throat> Arsenal squad. He can he can do some, some miracle. Finally, Marcus Schubert from Dresden will be signed on a free. Finally, Arsenal get somebody on free. And it is a very young talent. He is wonder kid. He is great goalkeeper and unbelievable talent coming to Arsenal and I believe I believe we can make a great use of him I can he could be could be a great understudy to bad Leno really really positive news for Arsenal you know uh, it is something really great where we do not where we know that we have financial constraints still we sign somebody on a free is blessing in disguise Christian Bielik helped Carlton Athletic to you know uh, win the promotion and now he wants some first team action he believes that though being 21 he should not play against under 23 because he believes he's now a senior player and he requires some senior team action yeah even I want to play Arsenal one day and you know what you may not be able to but I will in my dreams I'll, I'll, I'll go sleep tonight and I'll play for Arsenal uh, in my sleep I don't know about you I really don't know in reality if you can everyone wants to play for Arsenal my friend I don't know if you if if, if you if Unai Emery believes that you can be in his plans you would be if not I think you will be loaned out this season as well Arsenal have told Napoli that they have the end of this week to sign or to complete the signing of 3.5 million rated David Ospina and he's been quite a hit at uh, uh, Sadio San Paolo He's been great, so I believe, I think, I think uh, Napoli should take their chances and sign him. Well, William Saliba is quite in positive talks, in close contact with Arsenal, uh, you know, uh, so that Arsenal can sign him, you know, for 30 million, a centre-back who's quite young, who's rated very high by Santa Etienne, and the greatest part is that Santa Etienne want him, uh, want him back uh, in the next season. Suppose if Arsenal sign him, they would want Arsenal to loan him back to Santa Etienne for one more season. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we are fools. We don't have brains. Right? We, we are signing a centre. We want a centre back. We are signing a centre back to send him back to uh, play with Santa Etienne. Yeah. That, that, is the, that, is, that is the best thing that we can do, you know, right now. Where we can give away 53 goals and when we sign a centre back as young as 18, we send him back. Good option, Santa Etienne. I mean, you're making it very much easier for Arsenal not to sign William Saliba. Ex-Arsenal player Mikel Arteta has mentioned that Anfield gives him goosebumps. He's afraid of playing at the Anfield because he always wanted the game to stop, to rethink because he, he, he was completely bamboozled by the idea of playing at Anfield. Everybody is. Since Jurgen Klopp has taken reins, 
Anfield, the Cop, is an unbelievable place. Not many teams can go there and win. Not even Barcelona. That, that is the strength of the Cop. Arsenal's backroom staff are actually undergoing a very big overhaul. Darren Burgess is actually set to leave. Well, he was one of the Arsene Wenger's men and who was quite in charge of uh, maintaining the fitness of the players will be off from Arsenal duty. We wish him luck and I believe uh, well, when if it's an overhaul, when if it is end of an era, I think whoever leaves, leaves. There's nothing to moan about. Hakim Ziyech is always linked to Arsenal since the day he scored in the Champions League and I think and then we know that he admires Mesut Ozil a lot. He wants to meet him and Hakim Ziyech uh, wants to play at Arsenal but it is believed that uh, Hakim Ziyech plays much more like Ozil. Since Ozil is there, he cannot make it to Arsenal and with Roma and two or three more Bundesliga teams actually lurking, it seems that uh, it is great uh, for uh, Ajax to sign him you know, a new contract because 25 million is quite less for the superstar, I believe. You check out the fixtures of Arsenal. Unbelievable. We are doomed. Okay, the first month, August, away, we start with away uh, with Newcastle, followed by Burnley home, Liverpool away and the North London derby at home. I mean, we start with a bang. Why do we always start with a bang? What is wrong with you guys? We will have the most toughest December. We're facing Chelsea, we're facing Manchester City, unbelievable. I mean, I wanted all the away games to be finished first, but we are like away home, away home, away home. So this is quite, we, we would be quite worried about it because if we lose away, we had to, we have to perform at home. I don't know how far these fixtures will help us, but trust me, we are not favored. We are not favored with the fixtures. So let's see what's going to happen. New era. Trust in Emery Ball, his second season will be definitely a success. I hope we get Champions League football next season. If you believe we can, do subscribe to my channel because I also feel the same.